Hi guys, and welcome to this first edition of Conspiracy Crypto. I'm your host, Tobias Brown. I hope you're all having a really good day. As we can see in the markets, things have moved um, a lot, <laughs> a heck of a lot. So we thought, and a lot of people thought, that this was a little bit of a bear market. Um, I have been saying for a while that I think that we're definitely going to be, it's just manipulation, okay? Um, basically, what's been going on is mass manipulation. John Jones and the boys have been buying everything they can for Bear Stearns and uh, Morgan Stanley and Dean Witter and everybody else, okay? So basically, they've been filling their boots with cheap Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and anything else they can get their hands on that they like the look of. The reason? Well, this channel is about two things. It's about conspiracies and it's about crypto and how the two relate. Now, I've been interested in conspiracies for a very long time, since I was about 18 years old, and I've learned a thing or two over these years. And one thing I know for a fact is follow the money. Okay, follow the money. Well, look, the money is pouring into crypto at the minute, absolutely pouring in. And this is a fantastic bit of news for those who've had a really nasty time with this crypto market. But guys, we haven't seen anything yet. I can guarantee you that we haven't seen anything yet. Right. So what I want to talk to you about today is something called the Great Reset. Now, you may have heard about this. You may not. There is a group out there called the World Economic Forum. And these people basically have taken it upon themselves to dictate to the rest of us how the world is going to look after COVID. And they've been putting together something called the Great Reset. Their own words, the pandemic represents a rare but narrow window of opportunity to reflect, reimagine and reset our world. That's Klaus Schwab. Now, if you've ever seen a picture of Klaus Schwab, I highly recommend you do. Um, he looks like a baddie out of James Bond. Uh, he really, really does. It's terrible. So that's Klaus Schwab. And he basically has this amazing idea that everyone is going to own nothing and be happy. And yes, guys, this is the future that they want for you. They want you to live in a little pod and have drones deliver all your food and you are just going to rent off them. The Great Reset, okay? This is the greatest wealth transfer in history. And every day... People laughed at it to start with, but every day this thing gets closer and closer and closer. So go do your own research. But look, these articles were published on in May 2020, June 2020. Nothing recent, which I find quite interesting. Okay. So what they want to do is they want to change everything. They want you to live in a bubble, a bit like this and have everything brought in by drone, like I said, but more importantly than that, they want to stop and change the current financial system. Basically, people have been borrowing, I say people, governments, countries have been borrowing far, far, far too much money. And they do this thing called fractional reserve banking, where they, uh, they basically make money out of nothing. Um, I'm, I'll, do another, I'll do another piece on that in the future. But yeah, go look at fractional reserve banking. But the long and the short of it is they need to create a new financial system which wipes out all the debt and creates a new wealth class. And that's exactly what they're doing. Now, believe this, call it conspiracy, call it tinfoil hat, whatever. Okay, but this is exactly what's happening. And one of the cryptos which I really, really like, uh, I used to have a lot of it until the crash, but I've got a bit of it now, is VeChain. Here's how global supply chains will change after COVID-19. Guys, everything links back to this great reset and what's going to happen. Agenda 21 has already been in full swing and there is an Agenda 2030 as well. Go look that up, all right? But what I wanted to show you is this. So the Great Reset, just to prove a point, you can go onto this website and you can literally go to the search bar and type in XRP, as I've already done. And just to prove a point, I'll literally search for this now, okay? Here you go. 
And you see this here, the Central Bank Digital Currency Policy Maker Toolkit. Well, this is this. So I've got this now. And it's talking about the creation of CBDCs. Now that's Central Bank Digital Currency. So let's type in, I typed in XDC, let's type in XRP. Here you go. So this is what they are developing. Right now, crypto assets designated for interbank or intrabank payments and settlements. Examples, JPM coin, that stands for JP Morgan coin, right? And XRP. It's telling you to your face what is going to happen, all right? Right now, the crypto market, in my opinion, is being massively, massively manipulated. And it's a great opportunity if you're interested in getting involved in crypto. Um, now, the third point that I wanted to cover is this. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you'll know that XRP is currently being, quote unquote, sued by the SEC. Um, in my opinion, this is a joke and the SEC is a smokescreen to literally, for the next two or three years, or however long this is going to take, hopefully it's a lot quicker than that, but it's just to suppress Ripple's price. It's as simple as that. It's to let John, James, and everybody else from Morgan Stanley, Dean Witter, etc., go and buy it at a cheap rate, and the rest of us bleed and bleed and bleed while this lawsuit goes on. But one thing I know for certain is if the rest of the crypto market starts flying like it already did today, you can bet your bottom dollar that Ripple will as well, just on the fact that it has to based on the price of Bitcoin. Um, now, the idea behind all of this is the SEC filed an attack against Ripple Labs claiming that it was a security. It said that the XRP token is not a currency but a security and therefore subject to strict securities laws. This was said by a guy um, who basically left his post the day he said it and he basically started suing them the day he left his job, which uh, says a lot, doesn't it? And personally, my opinion on all of this, I think this is just a smoke screen, a massive, massive smoke screen. And I think XRP's price is going to moon very, very soon. So what are we saying here? So in the latest development, SEC has filed a response to the defendant's letter, which cited a public statement made by Commissioner Pearson, blah, blah, blah. Um, Okay. Defendants' arguments are tantamount to arguing they cannot be found liable for violating a statute on the grounds of certain public statements by legislators who agree with the statute. All right. So the point is the SEC hasn't actually clarified crypto yet. It is still the Wild West out there. And uh, they th this, this argument is that it's baseless, okay? And it could even be rejected, which means Ripple, Ripple would get a massive win out of this. This is Jeremy Hogan. Uh, I highly recommend you go check out his Twitter. Fantastic guy, and he's actually one of the attorneys for Ripple. And this is what he's saying. The SEC dodges the argument, where does the pleading address the statement of fair notice defense head on? Not once, because the SEC can't. When you can't argue the issue, dodge it. I've done this before. I would guess that Judge Torres is too sharp for this tactic. It's great news for Ripple. And personally, I think they're going to win this law case sooner rather than later. And as a result, the price of XRP is going through the roof. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. But most importantly, remember what we were talking about with the Great Reset. Go and have a look at this website, weforum.org, and go and do your own research on this. And go and search ISO 2022 compliant cryptos, which I covered in um, another video I did on another channel. Um, I will leave a link below to that one as well so you can go check that out. But yeah, go and have a look at that. And basically, my advice for you right now is just keep watching the market. If you're in it, hold on. There may be another drop. They may try and scare people out, but it looks to me like the market is starting to pick up pace. There is a lot more interest. 
and there is a lot more money flowing into not just Bitcoin, but the altcoins in general. So it looks, it looks like we're going to get a second pump, which would be absolutely fantastic. But just bear in mind that we are the puppets and they are the puppet masters. And what you're trying to do is be on the right side of history. And if you follow the World Economic Forum and what they're up to, chances are, if you invest in the right cryptos, which uh, I'll put some links below if you're interested, um, then you will be on the right side of history. Okay, guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed the uh, first session. And please do like, subscribe, follow my channel. I'm going to post loads more great content about what's going on with both conspiracies, crypto. And I do actually do some stuff on uh, healing yourself as well. So have a look at some of that. All right. And uh, I wish you all the very best. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye.